tātou katoa, no mai hoki mai ki tēnei wahanga, ki tēnei kōrero. We are back again with another kahao ki te ao e-commerce video. And today I want to talk to you all about this week's Belief Changer, which is a beautiful, strong, resilient, indigenous wahine who hails from Canada. She is the founder of the global successful Pākehi and business and brand Cheekbone Beauty, one of the first indigenous cosmetic brands um, of the globe. And that beautiful wahine is Jen Harper. Right now, I am filled with so much uh, inspiration, with so much love, with so much passion, uh, hearing her personal story and how she created a successful global business uh, that is worldwide. So she talks a lot about uh, her personal story and the intergenerational trauma that runs through her whanau uh, and how she became the woman that she became today. She talks about breaking the generational cycle um, that her queer had, that trickled down to her parent, that trickled down to her, and how in 2014 uh, she broke that cycle and she became an entirely new woman. From a woman who was an alcoholic, a woman who was lost, who didn't have any connection to herself as an indigenous wahine, um, who now owns a successful uh, cosmetics brand, true in her indigenous stance. She knows who she is. She knows her why. She knows her purpose. She talks about us as indigenous wahine, indigenous people having grit, having resilience, and how we are strong people. And that shows because we are all still here today. Uh, she talks about the different ways in which how we can create this type of drive. And she talks about waking up every single day and doing things that are hard. And by waking up every single day and working on those hard things, we work that muscle. We work that muscle of practice, of refinement, and of strengthening our craft, strengthening our kaupapa, uh, and then strengthening our pakihi. She talks about practicing deliberately. Uh, so we're, when we're inside of these hard moments, these hard days, working towards our craft, working towards our kaupapa, uh, that we practice deliberately uh, and that we are conscious around our practices. Uh, one thing that really stood out for me from her kōrero uh, was this sentence here. She said, I will not stop until my business is successful. And I relate to that. I, I resonate with that kōrero uh, because I too feel the same in my Pākehi and my Kaupapa. And the reason why she's able to have this drive, this grit, is because of her why. It's because of her purpose. And her purpose is bigger than her. Her purpose contributes to the lives, the well-being of Indigenous people. She gives 10% of her profits uh, and she donates that to different indigenous causes, uh, which helps contribute to the mental, physical, emotional, uh, social well-being of indigenous people. Uh, she talks about when you find your why, that is when you find your magic potion. For myself, being a business owner, being someone who has built a Pākehi from ground up, uh, it is nowhere near at the point where I see, where I vision 
a fit wahine Aotearoa and this kaupapa to be. I resonate with her kōrero because I too share the same values. My why is very similar to hers in the fact that my why is bigger than myself because it involves many people. It involves a culture of Indigenous people whose culture, whose language was ripped out of them. It involves giving back to those people so they too can stand tall as Indigenous people inside of this world. Uh, I want to finish my kōrero here. Jen hapa, katahi te wahine toa kokoe. When you shared your story, I cried so many times because I feel that you, your words, uh, you, you told my story today as I listened. Your story is very similar to many Indigenous people across the world. And I just want to thank you uh, for sharing that and empowering us Indigenous uh, business owners to stand tall, be strong and put in all the processes uh, to be able to create success, to then be able to give back uh, to our communities and to our people. Uh, no reira, ka mutu taku kōrero uh, me tētehi whakatauki. Koi a te e si kahurangi ki te tuohu koe me he maunga teitei. Seek the treasure that you desire the most. And if you are to bow your head, let it be to a lofty mountain. No reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa.